Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Irvin, with another manga volume review. This is one that I bought recently and will be coming out in the February manga haul. But I decided to read it right away. Uh, actually, when I was traveling, I read this one and I was uh, so excited to share this with you guys. Uh, so I will be showcasing it today. That is So Liquid Chambers. Uh, this one is from the same creator of Dance in the Vampire Bunch. Um, great, great first volume. I didn't realize how great of a series this is going to be. So I will be uh, buying more of the volumes of this one and reviewing for you guys. But I'll talk a little bit about the first volume in this video. But before I continue, I do want to say a few things. If you haven't checked out my volume reviews in of mangas in my channel, then you're missing out. Go check those out on my channel. Secondly, if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell button if you guys want to know when I go live or when I upload videos like this one. I do have a big surprise once I... Uh, reach 2,000 followers and then lastly uh, if you don't want the first volume to be ruined then don't watch further from here you have been warned okay so the description is kind of kind of great at the back uh, it says a girl with a prosthetic limbs and a tragic past wanders a zombie ridden 23rd century earth now known as dead man's playground overrun by monsters the most up Apocalyptic Wasteland is the last place a little girl should call home. So yeah, this this little girl is kind of like the protagonist of the story. I will show the kind of artwork they have in the front cover. I won't show them past this. I might show another page eventually, but uh, great, 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 great action. Uh, essentially, you have Miss Lewis, who is this little girl, and she... Uh, hired a guide to go into this uh, building and essentially in the 23rd century at this time there is three types of uh, humans uh, one is normal people like me and you <laughs> I hope so and then uh, zombies like you've read from the description and then the third one is kind of deformed people and they haven't really hit much about them other than that they that they're they're formed uh, they kind of show, they, they come out in, in the first, first pages, uh, he's one right there, they're still human, uh, they're not zombies, but they're not part of the human kind either, they kind of been pushed away by people, so, not really sure where they stand, I guess, other than, uh, they're in the middle, they don't mention them again in the rest of the first volume, so I think it's something that, they started with and maybe thought there's not much here so they kind of moved on and just kept it humans and zombies so uh anyways this story follows this girl finds this guy and they go into the building and they find what they're looking for and that is uh so liquids and basically their souls are in in a jar and they found this bam doctor from centuries ago that he placed himself there he's actually one of the doctors that caused this apocalyptic world and they want kind of answers of how they can fix the world and um uh, guy's a jerk i'll just say that from the beginning uh anyways we quickly find out that miss lewis this girl actually has a twin sister who is also in a liquid jar and she's able to transfer themselves from um from the liquid jar to the, the to the body so one of the liquid jars is inside of a teddy bear so that's why you kind of see a teddy bear uh in the background here that is uh the twin sister she's inside of the teddy bear in a liquid jar she's still able to speak and then they are able to change bodies and miss lewis never looks like this miss lewis always looks like a cute girl when the bear transforms uh she adds herself these prosthetics and basically in the op apocalyptic world they were left behind by one of these doctors and their dad was able to put as many limbs together as possible and with all the limbs together that he put he was able to make just this one girl so they're gonna have to share the body kind of a weird story anyways they eventually go to a city and a lot of things happen there uh there's so much corruption uh from the rich attacking the poor and poor just living from crumbs and i mean crumbs some of them even eating themselves it's just a horrible thing and it's very dark great series if you're looking for the new top zombie series 
I will say Soul Liquid Chambers is probably it. I don't know how many volumes of them there are out yet. I only saw the first volume in Barnes & Noble, but usually Barnes & Noble are pretty late with their releases, at least their physical copies in their stores. So they might have more volumes. I will eventually know when I research it, but uh, as of right now, I don't know how many more volumes they have. Out of 10, I want to give this one an 8 out of 10. It deserves it. I really, really have enjoyed this. The artwork is amazing. The storyline is great. And I just can't wait for the next second volume. So, thank you guys for watching the video. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all the love and support, guys. And like always, don't be strangers.